Good morning. Happy New Year. The new year started 2023. Lot of opportunities coming up. And in the digital world, things are changing. In accounting, we have new concept coming up. Cryptocurrencies, people know about it. There's a blockchain. It's a digital accounting transaction which happens stepwise and how it happened, how secure it is. I'm going to talk about it today. In a blockchain, the transaction proceeded in steps. It's validated, it's reliable, no duplication. And each party involved, they are being updated instantly. So it's a digital transaction with a flick of second, everything happened at the same time. Everyone involved in this transaction, in this process, are updated instantly. So this is a new concept. When people see new concept, there are a lot of questions coming up. Like because it's involved the payments, involved the uh, accounting. So people always have a questions. The questions are uh, how reliable it is. Uh, is auditor involved in this process? Uh, data integrity? There are many questions keep coming to the to the persons. So today my session is to update, to give you a detail on the concept, how this technology is used, why we call it very reliable, how the things happen, and uh, why we should use it. There's a general belief that uh, cryptocurrency is only one of the application of the blockchain. So how blockchain works, cryptocurrency always use it. I'm not going to talk about cryptocurrency today, maybe some other day, but uh, Let's talk about blockchain first. So blockchain concept is a shared ledger concept. It shares all transactions to all the participants at the same time. It's a P2P. Now what's P2P? Peer-to-peer. -peer. Like we have a B2C, business to customer. It's a P2P. It's same like uh, if uh, in, from my bank account I transfer money to your bank, Put the money, transfer, transfer to your account. It transactions happen between us. Like in B2C is uh, the business and customer, like Amazon, Flipkart, and, and uh, Netflix. Like some product has been sold to the customer. Here, it happened between peer to peer. -to -peer. It's directly. We also call it as a distributed ledger technology. So these are more uh, technical things. When a transaction happens, it's validated, a block created, and it, it add to the other block. So we have many blocks. So each transaction has a block. It keep adding to it. And there's no reversal. Anyone in that process can check the transaction because the moment the block is created, all the parties be updated instantly. First, I'll tell you about the account payable transaction. Like purchase order is created. That's first block. Then vendor supply the goods, that's the second block. So first block move to the second one. Then the third block created when the goods are received at the store. And the fourth block when the payment is released. So there are four blocks. You can see in the screen, the four blocks are in a queue. With each transaction, first validated, then a key or a block generated, shared between all the users at the same point of time. So in this transaction, you see the four blocks, block one, block two, block three, block four. First, when the purchase order is created. Second, when the supply is done. Third, when it received in the store and fourth when the payment is released so each time all the four parties be keep getting updated so it's more secure each time they're aware of what's happening and nobody can reverse the transaction no one can duplicate the transaction the block keep adding each of the activity has a digital record in my account payable example all the four parties are updated each time purchase order is issued the moment the goods are received, the moment uh, the payment release, everything was updated, there's no duplication. So it creates more trust between the parties. And it's like a simultaneous reconciliation also. Because each time a transaction is validated, a key is created. It saves cost, it saves money, and it's a quick, more reliable. So the normal question come up is, uh, how is it different from the uh, traditional accounting? See, the process is very similar. The only thing is in uh, blockchain, each time all users are updated instantly, so they know it what's happening. In a traditional accounting, what happened, um, suppose we purchase the goods, again, my account payable, PO issued, goods received, supply supply, 
and when the accounts payable pay he again check all the vouchers he check all the transactions it is done it is done it is done when everything is certified then he make the payment so the long process and accountant again has to check it but in this one because he is in the process the moment uh, purchase order issued the moment supply received he know the trade terms is 30 days the system start generating the payments it's all automated so he don't interfere in the system he getting updated he will interfere only when it is really needed otherwise the system keep flowing like a well oiled machine so it save time it is reconciled at any point of time we know it as a management know how much orders has been done what payments done because everybody is been updated at the same point so it's much better than a traditional accounting but say little complicated method uh, to set up a system is complicated smart contract what had happened each time when you do a smart contract using the blockchain technology what happened we involve the bank also in this process so now the parties are uh, the vendor our stores purchasing accounting and the bank so the fifth user has been added so the moment a transaction happened five people have been updated instantly the moment the purchase order issued the moment the vendor supply the goods the moment store receive the goods the moment the payment is due or it hit the ledger and the bank now you say what bank has to do now this is a smart thing suppose i have a uh, hundred uh, vendors in my system and 40 of them agree to be in this process the process of uh, smart contracts now the database of the vendor will be shared with the bank so we share all the details of the vendor to the bank also so bank also aware of the entire detail of the vendor their address the company name registration tax detail everything now what happened some of the supplier let's say i have a seafood supplier and he don't want to wait for 30 days for the payment it's a long time it's a 30 days credit terms he want money instantly but i as a hotel i can't pay you immediately i want to pay 30 days now the bank come into the picture because our data is shared by five participants and bank is one of them when the vendor supply the goods again bank also updated the goods received in the stores again bank updated and when the accounting get our transaction in the system and he validated yes things received also updated now accounting has to pay in 30 days but now here the bank give an option to the supplier if you want instant money because bank is aware of actual supply has been supplied he can take the money from the bank instantly so in case supplier don't want to go for the credit he can get the money immediately from the bank he can sign a contract with the bank bank will pay him immediately after the supply he will charge a small interest for 30 days because a 30 days credit after 30 days bank going to debit the amount to the hotel means me supplier don't have to go for uh, short-term funding he's getting his money immediately after supply he has to pay small money that is small interest for 30 days I as a hotel don't have to worry about it because my payments are done in 30 days the bank debiting my account my account accountant going to check the payment has been debited it's instant so for me I don't have to worry I have money but I don't want to pay immediately but actually I'm paying after a month because bank is charging me after a month the supply he want immediately he's getting a short-term funding he's paying maybe a, a fraction of uh, amount as a interest and bank because bank job is to fund so he is getting a customer who is taking loan, a short term loan. But all transactions are safe. There is no independent contracts for that. Because we all are part of a big system of smart contracts. All five parties are getting things done in time. Supplier supplying, getting money immediately. Bank getting a short term loan, loan funding. So this is one of the use of the uh, blockchain concept. It's validated transactions, things are reconciled all parties are updated you can't reverse the transactions once validated it goes to the next block next block next block like that it looked complicated but a system run like a well-oiled machine it's a very reliable system in my example the suppliers 
I'm, I'm giving you an example of one supplier, but there'll be like 40 supplier, 50 supplier, 100 supplier, 200 supplier. They're getting money instantly. They just keep supplying the goods without worry because the moment they supply, the transaction validated, block created, added to the system, and everybody aware, bank aware, bank release you money. And for a hotel or for a businessman or an entrepreneur, I don't have to worry. I pay after 30 days only. It's a digital. It's happening the flick of second. I'll give you one more example, an easy example. We order pizza sometime. We use the mobile app. We order pizza. How it happened? The moment we order pizza, immediately the kitchen is updated. The accounting is updated. The restaurant is updated. And the delivery boy is updated. So everybody is updated immediately. The moment the pizza is ready, kitchen validate the transaction. Again, all party updated. The delivery boy also know pizza is ready. Restaurant is also aware. Restaurant pack it immediately. Validate a transaction. Delivery boy take it. Validate a transaction. And when you receive it, the payment is done. Transaction is validated. So each time transaction keep validated. So it's not like next day accounting will uh, open the office. It's a night to supply pizza. And then you say, okay, when transaction happened, what happened? Is the payment done, not done? There's no reconciliation. Reconciliation is happening instantly. The moment pizza is ordered, all five parties are aware. Yes, there's an order come up. The kitchen finishes. Yes, order finish. Now it's moved to here. The delivery boy is aware of now the order. Now this is coming. Now I have to go there. And me, if I check my app, I know, oh, my pizza is ready. It's here. It's with the delivery boy. Every party, every transaction is being updated. The blocks are created. It keeps adding to it, adding to it, adding to it. Up to the finance where the payment has to be checked. Even when the payment is done, everyone updated, the payment is done, so transaction close. In a traditional setup, it's a little bit different, where a lot of reconciliations keep happening. Because money comes from many sources. For a hotel, it's a very unique and excellent application, blockchain. I talk about hotel because I work for hotels, but generally it's for, for every industry, whether it's a production, it's a manufacturing, it's banking, because all of us are involved in this kind of uh, transactions or accounting transactions. The beauty of this concept is it's automated reconciliation. Unless the first transaction is validated, the new cannot be created. So you create one transaction, you validate it, and then the next transaction. Then you validate it, then the next transaction. There's no reversal and you cannot delete it. And each time everybody is updated. So you can see in the screen, the blockchain is connected to digital payment system. It increases transparency. It's a secure transaction because there is no reversal. It's a distributed ledger because all party involved are updated instantly. It reduces the transaction cost and transactions are faster. So I can say it has a uh, six major benefits. So the six major benefits are attached to all transactions, instant, immediate flick of second everybody aware of it there's no duplication that's one of the thing duplication and margin of error is very very limited i'll say reconciliation is a big thing most of the frauds pilferage happen because of lack of reconciliations and doing a reconciliation is also not an easy job it's like matching all the transaction it's not like one page two pages like multiple pages it is a very complicated way of verifying the things and it all depends on the accountant or the person who is reconciling. If he is not careful, there will be mistake pass. But in these digital transactions, there is no scope of such mistakes. And that's why this blockchain technology is emerging like anything and everybody is working towards it. And we should understand it and use it more and more to have a secure, safe, cost-effective, immediate transactions. I love this uh, blockchain technology because of the transparency in data, its accuracy, less time, reduction in cost, and immediate transaction. These four benefits really push me to think more about it and, and work towards it. I don't know what is your take, but uh, this is one of the safest mode. And this is how the future is. We have to go towards the future. At the end of this session, I just want to share one of my experience. So 
almost uh, decades, I think almost 30 years back when I joined an audit firm. I was an article and I was doing the auditing, learning the audit and all. And uh, so I spent 30 years in accounting. I started uh, when there was a manual accounting, manual ledger used to come, people used to write debit credit manual we have to reconcile it was very tedious process then I learned the single accounting system also which was in India we call it Bahi Khata so all those things I have done and later the computers come and then people start working on computers so I used to go for audit and uh, I used to go with one of my senior uh, Anand Bhai so we went to a uh, shoe manufacturing company and what happened, they manufacture shoe, the thousands of uh, labor was there, they, they stitch the shoes and then the shoes come to the factory and then from factory it's been packed and been supplied to the supplier. So the owner said, okay, let's go for audit, we, got in, we have to do audit and uh, when we reach, he asked me, Ganesh, you want to do purchase side or sales side? I said, purchase, sales side, yeah, you have to do one side, either you do purchase or sales. I said, well, I'll do purchase. He said, yeah, you do purchase. It's a lot of learning. And uh, when I started doing it, it was like a very complicated process. Thousands of people, bills were there. And then there's a ledger, manual ledger. Every time I have to take here, take here, take here, take here and check if any wrong transaction happened or not. It was like, uh, like many days work and it's still not sure. So they have to put one more person after me to check all transactions validated. Same, we have to go for the uh, equipment making and you know, small nut and bolts make, uh, supply companies. It's a lot of complication those days. Every transaction has to be validated, revalidated by the manually, by me, first by accountant, then by me, then by somebody else also on test to make sure all accounts are okay. There's no pilferage, there's no um, fraud happening. But now with this technology, it's changed. Everything is changed. The moment one transaction happened, every part is updated. The payment will be done only when this transaction is validated. So it's a validation of all the points digitally, instantly, it's secured, it saves a lot of time, saves a lot of money, and it's, it's very quick, it's user-friendly. So that's the reason when I saw about this blockchain, I found it's an a amazing thing. But again, it's a technology, we need to know a little bit more about it. We should uh, actually... Uh, learn more about it because things keep changing in technology and how we make more and more safe and secure cost effective but yes when i talk about my 30 years back when i started doing this manual thing and a lot everybody was doing the manual thing it was so much time consuming and still we are not sure how accurate it is it's a complicated process we used to do the audit for a beverage company the alcohol company again for whiskey we use red the vodka we use green for let's say for rum we use uh, uh, black if we miss match in this uh, in this color pencil entire reconciliation goes zero we have to redo it again so it was very complicated and everything is is manual so even the accounts are manual so you have to photocopy it again start with a different color pencil one color pencil mismatch everything goes this doesn't happen now it's a blockchain 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 use it I see a lot of your comments uh, and people ask me different things. So coming sessions will have revenue management, beverage cost and buffet cost. Buffet cost wastage is very, very, very important nowadays in our industry, in the hotels and the restaurant. I was in Malaysia last month and I did one presentation on buffet cost, buffet cost and wastage, how we control it, what format we use. My point is, we don't use machine every time, we use intelligence and some of the formats, templates. By using that, we can reduce our cost. I'm going to talk about it, maybe in my next session. Till that time, bye. Have a nice day.